you are welcome back to my channel today we have a very very simple um geometry question to solve okay all right now the question says that we should find the values of a and b and please this diagram is not trying to scale this is supposed to be a quadrant that is one fourth of a circle the length from here to here is 14 the length from here to here is 10 so we are asked to find the value of a and b now like i said this is a very simple geometry question but if you don't know where to start from you will definitely not get this right so let's start by naming this this is the center of the circle so it's zero now let's call this x let us call it a capital a this place capital b and this place capital c all right now um the remember that the radius of a circle is any line drawn from the center of the circle to its circumference this is what i mean if this is a circle and this is the center of the circle any line drawn from the center to the circumference is the radius of the circle so from here to here is the radius this is the radius this is the radius this is the radius and so on and so forth so if we should have that in mind then it means that if i draw a line from this center to this point i have the radius of a circle right if i should draw another line from here to the center that is another radius so we can actually get several radii red eye from here all right but there is a special point on this diagram and that point is point b so if i should draw a line from zero to b b is also on the circumference we're also going to get the radius of the circle but this time the radius that we are going to get is going to go a long way into helping us to find the values of our small a and small b so let's go ahead and neglect all these red eyes and choose one that is useful to us okay so we're going to draw this line to touch point b okay please pardon the drawing now like i said this is the radius of this circle please if this is the first time you are joining us you are highly welcome hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our lovely videos all right give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by the grace of god and tell us what you think about what we are doing in the comment section thank you so much okay now back to what we are doing here why do i want to get the radius of this circle and why is point b an important point remember that this is a rectangle okay if this is a rectangle then definitely this is right angle this place is right angled as well all right and also the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal right so it means that this is 14 as well that is from here to here is equal to from here to here now you can see that we have a special type of triangle called the right angle triangle so triangle o b k let's call this k is a right angle triangle so let's draw that out so this is o this is b and this is k and here is 14 and here is 10 and one thing about right angle triangle is that when you are looking for one side of a right angled triangle then definitely you are going to use your pythagorean theorem to find that right 
all right now since two sides of this triangle are given and we're looking for just the one side which happens to be the hypotenuse that is the side facing the right angle to get the hypotenuse okay remember the pythagorean theorem that states that the hypotenuse squared will be equal to the other side squared which is 10 in this case and the other plus the other side squared which is 14 in this case so we have h squared is equal to 10 squared is 100 14 squared is permit me to use a math trick to get this yes i don't really cram lots of uh, formulas lots of squares and square roots no i don't cram them so 4 squared is 16 1 squared is 1 1 times 4 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we add we are going to have 196 and that is the square root the square sorry if you want to learn how i got this square using my math trick i have a playlist a playlist for that just search for playlists on my channel the name of the playlist is mastery you are going to see amazing lots and lots of them to learn from okay thank you very much so we have 100 plus now 14 squared we got 196 so we have 196 so we have h squared is equal to 296 so to get the value of h we are going to take square root of both sides so we have square root of h squared is equal to the square root of 296 now square we remove your square root and we have h is equal to plus or minus now permit me to use my calculator because definitely this is not a perfect square okay so let's talk about square root of 296 and that should be 17.2 approximately 17.2 but remember that we are looking for the hypotenuse which is the length and we can actually find the length like the length is visible so it cannot be a negative number and that is why we are going to take cash as positive 17.2 now our hash which happens to be here is also the radius of this particular uh, quadrant so i'm going to replace this side with 17.2 now why is this important if you observe closely you will notice that this place okay from zero to c is also the radius of this circle right yes you can see from zero to c is a line from the center to the circumference so it's also the radius so it simply means that 14 plus a should be equal to 17.2 because our radius is 17.2 so we subtract 14 from both sides and we are going to have this minus this is zero so we have a is equal to 17.2 minus 14 will give us this will give us two this will give us three so we have 3.2 units as the value of our a similarly we have that 10 plus b that is oa is also the radius of this circle so it simply means that 10 plus b which happens to be OA should be equal to the radius, which is 17.2. So if we subtract 10 and subtract 10 from both sides, we are going to have that B is equal to 7 minus 0 is 7. So we are going to have 7.2 as the value of our B. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.